We had always wanted a live work environment ever since we moved to Philadelphia. You see prostitutes, you see drug trade. It's here, it's in our block, and it becomes really real. It becomes more of like a protect yourself, keep your eyes down, you're in and out, and you think about all of those steps in between. And so it just is really real. We treat it like uh, this building as the compound, we always call it. It's an old factory. It's a whole city block, so the amount of space is just like insane. Like the inspiration is easy and that's, that's the great part about living in the building. It influences the work. The beginning started just directly with tools, thinking of labor and construction labor and like blue collar work. My family was like middle class, has done really well in their life. It's interesting because my dad always says he couldn't draw a straight line, but he always had these basic tools that his dad gave him. So that's how it started, just making the tools out of pennies to talk about sort of the valuelessness of hand labor. There are different ways to think about craft as a political response. You can look at Stacey Lee Weber's work with coins, how she's making all of these tools out of pennies and adding a great commentary on labor in the process. You know, people pass them by and they don't know that they're pennies and that they're all hollow underneath and it took all this time. It's like a sort of respect for like how it was made issue and they just like, their eyes open up like, oh, you know, it, it just hits them. 